Well, this is fun. Winter has finally hit over here. Now, typically speaking, having something in the center typically prevents it from freezing over, but, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can have to figure out a way of... Is it thick? Ooh. I'm going to cut myself if I do it that way. I can break through it. If I can get a hammer or something to it, I can break through that. But, yeah, typically speaking, having something in the middle... <laughs> typically prevents this from happening but uh it's just frozen in place at this point so that's fun <laughs> oh i'm hoping all this survives but i don't think it was as cold last year we've been going down to the minuses so yeah we're going through a bit of a winter wonderland right now there's a layer of frost over everything it looks nice though well it's funny because like it's been a while for this to hit, so I really should have cut this back by now. Because this down here, this bit, was last year's growth. And I didn't realize it didn't come back. So it comes back from the ground. So I want, I want this all to die off, so I can just cut it right down to the bottom. And next year it'll all come back up again. But yeah, and similar with this. I mean, shit, like, it's still flowering a little bit. But uh, if I move this out the way, you can see down here, um, it's actually dead at the bottom. So what happened is, I should have cut it back. Because this year, what's happened is it's grown from the end of that bit. And it's been top heavy. So it's just gone flop. So really, all this should be stood up. But because I've not cut that back, it's all kind of like flumped over. So I want to make sure I don't, I don't do that again. But the way the weather's been, it's uh, it's been too warm, even in the months that this should have kind of died off. So I'm still waiting for the moment. I've got this month in January, typically speaking. So hopefully all this shit dies off so I can cut it back. My sedums are all in one pot now. And these are looking absolutely gorgeous with a layer of frost on top of them. They're hardy buggers as well. They're survive, they'll survive. And you can start to see how they're starting to intermingle now as well. So here's one here. Around here, that's one. This one that's been spreading like crazy is by far the most successful. That one's spreading. And then we've got this coral one that kind of intertwines into each other. You can start to see it intertwine between this one here. So it's doing what I wanted it to do. And kind of like meld into one. So it's very pretty. Um, here's my lemon balm. Oh fuck. That's frozen a little bit. I've got these on to try and keep them a bit warm. So fingers crossed it does the job. But here's my lemon balm. A lot of it's died off. I'm going to have to look whether I need to cut this back. But it's a mint. It's a mint so I'm not quite sure. You don't do it with lavender. But you do do it with that. And then we've got this. And this is the one I really want to survive more than any other. Um, so, yeah, that lavender is basically outgrown its pot. I should have transferred it over, but it's died off at this point. I don't think I'll be, that'll be coming back next year. Here's my white lavender. Believe it or not, it has actually flowered a little bit. So I've had to cut it back a little bit. You could see we had like an extreme level of rain uh, for one month. Like it was constant. And because of that, it just got over-soaked. It bloated up like a sponge. And a lot of it died off. So I've ended up cutting it back. But it seems to be doing okay. We'll see. Um, this I've used in the garden. And I've also taken it up to a, a neighbor's. And it's put it's in his garden. It's um, creeping fine. I've used a bunch of ground cover. I've not actually weeded out here for a while. There are some weeds knocking, knocking around. But it's 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 fine. I'll do it when I cut everything back, but a lot of this stuff I've got, I've got, um, what you call it, I've got creep, I've got fine, creeping fine, and I've got a uh, flux in here, so that's what this mixture is, um, lavender, I know people say you shouldn't put it in the ground, but it's not been too bad so far, so if it does get really bad, I'll, I'll cut it back and I'll, I'll remove it, um, this is a, this is mostly blank, but these are, uh snapdragons that i've cut back i'm hoping they grow back next year if not i'll just dig them up and i'll get new ones and then there's my nettle over there which because it's the easiest thing in the fucking world to grow 
it's actually been doing quite well. So yeah, I'm not touching this one, but yeah, there are my nettles. I can still harvest some of them, but they are dying back a little bit now. They look better and greener in the in the phone actually than they do in real life. And they've been doing really well. I've kept them separately over here because I don't want to be dealing with that. <laughs> so yeah. That's there from nettle tea, so I'm actually purposely growing that. That's not that's it's been taken from a clean source as well.